A long, long time ago, way out in the West somewhere. That's right, the West. There lived a group of brothers. Cowboy brothers. Uh, right. Uh, cowboy brothers. Hello, little doggies. With French accents. What? It's a French western. Uh, okay. Uh, anyway, uh, there was Reuben. Oh, ho. Simeon. Bonjour. Levi. Adi. Izzy. Yahoo. Zeb. Hello. Gad. Yes, Ash. No. Dan. Hey, my dog. Maddie. Et toi. Oh, uh, and Jude. Hey, Jude. Uh, then there was uh, Baby Ben, uh, but he was too little to come outside. <coughs> oh, and one more. <coughs> little Joe. Look who finally decided to get up. Hey guys, where do you hear about the crazy dream I had last night? Quiet, Little Joe, we are working here. Oh. Right. Little Joe was a little different than the others. Besides talking differently, God had given him great organizational abilities. You should see his sock drawer. What kind of work are you doing, exactly? We must count our sheep, but every time we do. Well, maybe it wouldn't be so boring if you put the sheep in groups of five or ten. Then, you just have to count the groups. I bet you'd have your work done in no time. What a ridiculous idea! You know nothing about sheep! I'll put them in groups of ten. So, can I tell you about my dream now? Come and get it! <laughs> Not so fast, fellas. Before we eat, I have a special announcement. I think we all know that today is Little Joe's birthday. Papa. Baked it myself. All together. We agree on something. <gasps> For me? What are you waiting for? Try it on! What do we get for our birthday present? Mittens. Little Joe is wearing a vest made from the finest calf hides. Perfect for riding the range or going to court. This is one vest that says, look at me, I'm something special. And what do mittens say? They say, what? You are not as special as your brother. And for my birthday wish, I want to tell you all about my latest dream. It was the strangest thing. Past the mountains in the fields where the cowboys practice. Out beneath the desert sky stood a dozen cactus. C -c cactuses? Cacti? Kaki? Continue. Eleven cactus, those were you, gathered round the other. They bowed, you see, to the one that was me. Their dearest little brother. Their dearest little brother. Crazy, huh? What are you saying? That you will rule over us like a king? <laughs> it was just a dream, right? It's not really gonna happen. <laughs> uh, maybe you should cut down on the bratwurst before bed, huh? Needless to say, Joseph's dreams didn't make his brothers like him any better. Hey, why are we at this whole abandoned mine shaft? Uh, this is where we hid your birthday present. Wow. Very, uh, creative. It's time to get what you've got coming to you. Oh, I can't wait. I don't see a birthday present. You are not looking hard enough. Okay. 
No, I still don't see anything. Well then, how about now? Whoa! Uh, guys? A goat must have bumped me or something. Little help? We'd love to, but we're too busy bowing down before you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, this isn't funny. Really? It made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who's that? What are you guys doing? Come on, joke's over. Ha ha, real funny. Guys? Guys? Tie this around your middle. Who, who are you? Never you mind. Just tie the rope. Well, finally. Oh, dear. <laughs> Before, and now here he was on the run with dangerous men. Ah, uh, Mr. Desperado, did you put out the campfire last night? getting shorter every week. Here you go, boss. Oh, and uh, by the way, the peanuts make them thirsty, so get ready to sell a lot of root beer. Oh, you're a natural, me lad. And that's why you've earned this. I wasn't sure if you'd work out when I bought you from those desperados. But congratulations, me lad. Employee of the month? Oh, thank you, Mr. McPotifer. I won't let you down, you'll see. From now on, I'll work harder than ever. C'est Joseph. Oh, hello, kitty. That's Miss Kitty to you. Whatever you say. Look, little Joe, don't be a sap. No one's looking. Take this money and get out of here. Why would I do that? 
you and I both know you don't want to be here. With this much cash, you can get back home. I'm sorry, Miss Kitty, but stealing is wrong. If I took that money, I'd be disobeying God. Not to mention I'd probably lose my status as employee of the month. Good day, Miss Kitty. Uh, to show you there's no hard feelings about you know what, I made some alterations to your costume for you. Oh, well, that's really kind of you, but I wasn't aware that it was just... It's a tad heavier than before. I put some extra stuffing in it. Thief! <gasps> There's a thief among us. All right. What seems to be the trouble here? This man has been stealing from dear old McPotifar since the day he arrived here. Little Joe? This does not look good. <gasps> Joe, me lad. How could you? What do you have to say for yourself? I'm innocent? Tell it to the judge. <laughs> of any prisoner I've ever had. God is good, Sheriff Bob, so what have I got to be down about? Well, if God is really good, why is all this stuff happening to you? I don't know that yet, but I will when it's time. I just need to keep doing what's right. <sighs> all right, men, lights out. Another day of quilting tomorrow. <laughs> when I woke up screaming. Well, what does my dream mean, Joe? Uh, mine too. What do they mean? Well, there's good news and there's bad news. You're going back to work today, but you're being sent up the river. Congratulations. So sorry. Uh, anyone here? Oh yes, dear Baker, I have wonderful news. And the mayor has given you a full pardon. He wants you to resume your duties immediately. And I'm extending an invitation to you, Mr. Blacksmith, to join my chain gang up the river. <laughs> How do you do that? Hmm? Oh, well, I've always just had this thing for dreams. Just another way God made me special. Uh, yeah, and he loves you very much, uh, I've heard. Little Joe really believed God loved him. Still, every now and then, he'd wonder what God was up to. Hey, God. Little Joe here. Not to complain or anything, but what's going on? I tell people what their dreams mean, and they always come true. But you gave me a dream a long time ago, and I'm in jail. And I didn't even do anything. I'm trying to do what's right. But I'm a little confused. Well, please be with Pa and baby Benjamin and most of my brothers. Okay. In Jude 2. Good night, God. The very next day, who should show up but the mayor himself? 
Uh, as I believe we can all see here, uh, the town's reserves are down a good 25% due to the fact that our bank is robbed, on average, every other week. <laughs> hey! Uh, pizza roll? <laughs> it was horrible, just horrible, and it was so real, like it was really happening. Oh, that sounds dreadful. At any rate, as I was saying about our bank... <laughs> but, but what did it mean? Uh, is there anyone in Dodgeball City who can interpret dreams? Uh, begging the mayor's pardon, but uh, I know someone who might be able to, uh, help. Hmm? My baker tells me you can interpret dreams. No, I can't, sir. What? I can't interpret your dreams, but God can. He'll give me the answer you're looking for. Right. Well, he better, or I'll put you back in that jail and you'll never get out. Let's get started. Earlier today, I had the strangest dream. Seven cows sat on a hill, so big and fat, I got my grill. I was thinking about a barbecue. Then seven scrawny ones came along and gulped the big fat cow. And then I dreamt I was in front of a large group of people in my underwear. What's that about? So come on, start interpreting. Well, it's really quite simple. The seven fat cows mean seven years of plenty are a-coming. More food than you can imagine. And the seven skinny cows mean seven years of terrible famine. Famine so bad, the good years will be all but forgotten. If this is true, what do we do? Well, during the good years, you should store away as much food as possible to give back to the people during the seven bad years, and Dodgeball City will be saved. Of course, you'll need someone with great organizational abilities to make sure it all works. Archie, what's the state of your sock drawer? Ah, uh, a little disorganized, I'm afraid. That's what I thought. Cucumber, you're in charge. Excuse me? Well, what are you doing standing around here? You've got a city to save! <laughs> so the mayor made Little Joe the most powerful man in Dodgeball City. Uh, after him, of course. And just like always, Little Joe got right to it, doing things right and making stuff work. Little Joe! Oh, Little Joe! got a family out there somewhere. I just hope they're all right. Oh, I'd be surprised if this drought was that widespread. I'm sure they're right as rain. We are doomed! <laughs> Calm down, brothers. Things do look a little bleak. But if we stick together, we'll get through this as a family. Right, Carl? We are doomed!
run this here town. What can I do you for? We hear tell you've got yourself some food stored up. So, we reckon we'd come on down to see if we could buy some from you. Hmm. How many in your family? Just the 11 of us now. One of our brothers got ate up in a wild gopher accident, but that was years ago. Mighty sorry to hear that. We have regretted it every day since. He was my closest brother, and I barely even remember him. Where's your... <clears throat> Where's your pa? He could not make the trip. His heart is broken. <laughs> You'll see the sheriff. He'll take care of you. Give him whatever they need, but don't let him go till I say so. Are you okay, little Joe? I'm fine, but whatever you do, don't use my name around him. Whatever you say. I need to know if my brothers have changed. I need a test. You strangers ready to go? I reckon so. Your man gave us everything we need. We tried to pay, but he would not hear of it. Now I wonder why he wouldn't take money from a bunch of low-down, dirty thieves. Pardon? You heard me. You all came a long way just to get caught robbing me. Now see here, we are not thieves. We came to buy some food. But if this is a problem, I... Them ain't pepperonis, partner. <laughs> You bet there's been a mistake. Your brother tried to steal from me, and we don't take kindly to stealing around these here parts. But you don't understand. My pa has already lost one boy, a boy he loved very much, and it was my fault. I cannot let him lose Benjamin too. Keep me prisoner and let my brother go free. No, 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 no. All right, all right. Everybody get out of there. Oh, little Joe, we got a problem. Little Joe? So, you'd really sacrifice yourselves for your brother? It's time to tell you who I really am. Brothers, it's me. <gasps> little Joe! <laughs> You are not still upset about that little mineshaft joke, are you? Little Joe, I am to blame for what happened to you. Punish me, but I beg of you, let my brothers go. Hey Jude, what you did was wrong, and it hurt me very much. But what you intended for harm, God used for good, to save you all. To save everyone. To save Pa. How could I not forgive you? Hey! You boys forgot your mittens! <gasps> Little Joe? <gasps> pa! My boy! And that's the story of how a very bad thing became a very good thing and led to the happiest family reunion the West had ever seen. Yeah! 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 Yeah!